friends and we are back with another YouTube video. I'm just gonna get right into it today. Currently caffeinating on my second cup of coffee this morning. It's fine, everything's fine. So basically what this entire video is gonna entail of today and what we're gonna be talking about is what I personally bring in my show day bag and what I bring backstage with me. So, and honestly, I think this video could be, you know, for anybody competing, whether it's you're an amateur, it's your first show, if you're going to an NPC competition, IFBB Pro, whatever it is, I feel like we all just kind of bring, you know, generally, we're in the same general setting, so we bring, you know, the same general items. But this whole video is just gonna entail that, some tips and everything that I got to throw at you. So get ready for it. So I wanted to make this video, you know, pretty organized and like well-spoken and well-told to you guys so that you can just fully apply it to yourselves. So I made a checklist and basically what this checklist goes through is just show day items that you're going to need, like the essential show day items that you're going to need. Um, I have what's going to, what is essential to bring backstage with you, um, what's going to be essential like inside your hotel room and, you know, like toiletry items. I actually took the time to make an entire checklist for you guys to just refer back to. So if you don't want to listen to me ramble on about all the show day essentials that you need, just go ahead to the end of the video and take a screenshot of the checklist. And then you can just always have that to refer back to for any competition that you ever go to. Just look at this checklist, check it off, and you'll be set. So just getting into it. I want to start off and say, just get yourself a rolling bag. You need it. You're going to need this for any competition you go to. One, because you need a shit ton of stuff to carry backstage. You need a bag, okay? And do you want a bag that is going to be on your shoulders? No, I don't think so because you have a tan. So you need this bag. You need a rolling bag. I highly recommend any type of rolling bag works. Um, just because you don't want the stress of having to either carry a bag off of your shoulders or that's really the only option that you have because you can't put the bag on your shoulders because it will ruin the tan. Tip one. Always bring a rolling suitcase. This is going to be, you know, I, I, I normally put all of my show day stuff in this bag and then travel with it wherever I'm going. So, and then I just have this to roll backstage with me as well because it's going to be super easy just to bring everything backstage with you. Um, like I said about the tans, you don't want to have any bags on your shoulders. So this is just what I ended up bringing up backstage with me. And it's really nice too. It's, you don't need a super big rolling bag, but it's nice to have all these compartments and... You can actually just, if you want to sit backstage, you can like sit down and like lean on it or whatever you want to do, but highly recommend a rolling suitcase. That's definitely something it's going to make your life so much easier. Just bring a rolling suitcase. Moving on to my second piece of advice that I have for you guys. It's going to be, you know, you want to be structured on show day, right? The whole day itself is kind of crazy. You have so much adrenaline going, just shit's happening. It's, it's going fast too. So. One thing I would recommend is, you know, just creating a list for yourself, a checklist, whatever. I'm all about checklists and creating a checklist is key on show day. Like whenever, I, what typically what I do, I don't write it down because it's just annoying to carry around a piece of paper, whatever. Um, I typically just put it in my phone. So say I'm getting up at my hair and makeup appointment. Well, let's say my tan appointment's at 6 a.m. Um, I will put in my phone, you know, wake up five o'clock. If I have to eat at like 5.30, or if I eat to eat after my tan, I'll put that down. But then I'll put my tan in. I have a tan at 6 a.m. My makeup is going to be at 8.30 a.m. And my hair might be at, you know, 9 a.m. So everybody's times are different between before getting on stage. Um, so I recommend, you know, definitely making a list like that um, of what you have to do in the morning so that you don't have to go crazy scanning in your head. What do I need to do next? You can just refer back to the notes in your phone with the list. So that's something that I do and I have done all of my show days and it's definitely helped a lot. So I highly recommend writing a list for yourself, planning it out so that there's less stress, you have so much adrenaline going on in show day and you want it to be carefree and stress-free. So definitely make a list. So opening up my show day bag here, I have a lot of things in here, but it's already planned and everything's prepared. So one thing, tip one, what you need in your show day bag. This is on the checklist is going to be the show day essential. So clearly we need the suit. The suit, if you don't have the suit, like what are you? 
<laughs> just kidding but seriously though you definitely have the suit make sure that's in there and everything um if you have a backup suit i highly recommend you know bringing that backup suit um but ideally have your suit also moving on have your shorty heels i normally keep them in like a drawstring bag like this but um definitely make sure you have a show show day heel here that's what they look like um if you have an extra pair definitely bring an extra pair i've had um i actually recently had um my shoe break on me but i was able to you know order a pair and um break them in before my show so definitely have you know if you have an extra pair bring them highly recommend it's never a bad idea just to have backup items and be prepared just a little insider on what my bag looks like right now it's a very simple rolling bag with lots of spaces and everything, so it's very convenient. Highly recommend getting something similar to this. But this is what it's looking like. Um, and basically, what the next thing that you're going to need after you make sure that you have your sh uh, shoes in your suit, um, what you're going to need is your jewelry. Obviously, you want to make sure that you have jewelry with you. Um, and if you have uh, backup jewelry, I definitely recommend getting backup jewelry just because you never know if you're going to break an earring, lose an earring. You never know and you don't want to be earringless on one ear it's just you just want to have the whole package it's about the whole package on stage and just have the extra stuff just to be careful um i got my jewelry off of amazon just saying um you don't need to spend a lot of uh, money on jewelry um spend the money on your coach spend the money on opposing coach spend the money on that and just save on jewelry that's just the way i look at it next on our checklist we have two very important items it's going to be your npc card and your photo id so some, one of the tips that I recommend doing, you don't have to do this, but I do it just for the structure. I bring a vanilla envelope, I write my name on it, I write my number on it, I write my uh, typically NBC bikini and whatever class I'm gonna be. So I do that and then inside the vanilla envelope, I'll put, you know, if you can print out an order of the shows, if you can, if not, you don't have to be like me. Um, you could put it, you could find it online and screenshot it and keep that on your phone. Um, I normally just have this just to have it, um, cause it's on the website. So I printed it. Um, and then right here I have my NPC card. So my NPC card, um, well, when you buy your NPC card, you can do online. Um, I bought mine online and I had it, I printed it out myself. Um, a lot of times people will just screenshot it on their phone and then have it on their phone and then bring it to check-ins, which is totally fine. Um, but I printed mine out and um, I just have it on hand just to show them it's easier. And like I said, if I have everything in my manila envelope, I just carry this to check-ins with me. Um, and then everything's in order too. So I really like that, um, it's less stress. And then I also bring this manila envelope um, with me in my bags backstage. Next item on our checklist is a very important thing that you need to compete. So don't lose it. It's gonna be your competitor number. This is from my last previous show. And one thing I always do, um, you know, if you're not, if you don't have this on you currently or whatever, um, one thing I always do to remember where my competitor number is at so I don't freaking lose it is to put it in, you know, the case that your bikini goes in. So whether you have your bikini on or off, I recommend just putting your competitor number in here and closing it up and then um, you can always go back to it and be like, oh, that's where my competitor number is. That's something that I always do and it's really helpful because I've been, there's been times where I'm like, oh shit, where's my competitor number? So it gets crazy. But yeah, definitely just make sure you always have this, very important. One thing you want to make sure that you have in your show day bag is some sort of robe, some sort of cover up. And this is just something that I use um, every show day. It has my team's name on it. It's so freaking cute. I love this robe. So yeah, definitely it's just something super easy to throw on. You don't want to mess your tan up. Um, and you want to have a cover up of some sort, you know? Um, we're freaking low body fat percentage, so we're gonna be freezing all the time. So definitely recommend a robe, some sort of cover up, some sort of loose clothing. You want your clothing to be black because you don't want anything, because sometimes other colors other than black can discolor the tan that you have on. So definitely recommend a darker color. Um, I also have, another um cover up i have not an um, option too um just another team jersey this is really cute as well um but yeah this is what i use and it works really well every single time next item you're going to want is some sort of flip-flop so you just want something easy like these these are really cute too um whatever works for you um i bought these off of amazon for like i think like 15 dollars or so i know the shoe fairy also sells them too so if you order heels from them you can just get your your slides from them but yeah, I got these off of Amazon. They're super cute and they look good. They're sparkly. They go with everything. Another essential item on this list, 
bring your damn Dixie cups. Let me tell you, these are a lifesaver. You don't want to go to the bathroom, sit on the toilet. First of all, we don't sit on the toilet during soda day. Just don't do it. Don't even try. Bring your Dixie cups, pee in the Dixie cups. Oh, I did mention you need to pop the bottoms out of them. So I pre-pop all the bottoms out of my Dixie cups that I plan on bringing. So pop all the bottoms out of the Dixie cups. You don't want a splotchy crotch. I don't think anybody does. The judges don't definitely want a splotchy crotch, just saying. So definitely pre-pop your Dixie cups. They're very important. And it's super easy just to bring them and go to the bathroom and use them that way. Just pee through them. Um, like I said, I pop, pre-pop some of these. I need to pop more before show day. But yeah, these are so clutch. And like, I like to be backstage. And like, if anybody needs a Dixie cup, I'm like, hey, here, if you want one, like, you can have one. If anybody's going to the bathroom, like, it's so stressful trying to go to the bathroom and not use a Dixie cup. Like, I don't know how people even do it. Like, I'm just like, I need to piss through that hole. <laughs> literally though it's so important to have these um definitely recommend just pre-popping them and then you don't have to stress about it and that's all i basically have for you know what's in my show day bag and like the show day essentials that you're gonna need um oh yes one other thing your show day meals just make sure those are all in check um and your meal timing is right i would definitely you know put your meal timing down in your list that you're writing so that's everything for the show day list now moving on to the toiletries what I recommend, well actually, so I bring this little tiny toiletry um, bag and I put it in my show day bag. It just has like eyelash glue, it has a little bit of, um, you know, lipstick that might match my lipstick um, that I got my makeup done with, hairspray, whatever you can think of, bobby pins, just all the little stuff. Um, and I also put my portable charger in here too. So I just throw everything in this little um, toiletry bag, throw it in my um, backstage bag, and I'm good to go. As far as toiletry items go, I would just recommend, you know, bringing what you typically bring when you travel. So um, I would just bring, you know, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Um, what else is there? Toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, you're gonna need uh, deodorant. I would recommend bringing also spray deodorant too because on show day when you have your tans, you can't wear deodorant. So spray deodorant um, or just body spray. I typically, I just focus on the body spray. I don't wanna fuck my tan up. So I use the body spray, perfume, bring it. Um, you have makeup, you can bring your hair brushes, um, eyelashes, eyelash glue, always have that on deck. You're gonna want bobby pins, hairspray, all the goods, all the goods, and you're set. As far as hotel room items go, I would recommend bringing your food scale 100% sure. Make sure you have that. Um, I recommend paper plates, uh, plastic utensils, like forks, spoons. Um, that's gonna be really easy for you just to weigh all your food out and everything. Um, stuff that's microwavable so i'd bring like um maybe like one container that you can just put your food in and then re-microwave it it just makes it a little bit easier on you um i always bring a bowl because i eat oatmeal before my show every show day it's a tradition um so i'll have a bowl on deck for myself personally um and yeah moving on i would also recommend bringing dark colored sheets dark colored sheets um or sheets in general you know Everybody, all the all the people in the hotel know that the host, especially the host hotel, they know that the competitors are staying and they know they're gonna have tans and they know they're gonna sleep in the beds and there's white sheets. That's not a good mix. And they will charge you if you ruin their sheets. So I recommend bringing a black sheet because again, um, the tan, it could discolor the tan if it's not black, it's a possibility. Lastly, on our hotel room item list, we have this. This is just a mini body weight scale that I got on Amazon for like $25, I think. Um, but yeah, I just wanna be able to track my weight and everything. I've never used it yet, so don't know how it is, but I just got this on Amazon and I'm excited to use it. It's like not even the size of my feet. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm excited. And this is a pretty cool item I just thought I would share. Definitely will be bringing this everywhere I go, traveling now. So not even for shows, like just for anywhere I go. It's gonna be very, it's gonna come in handy. It's gonna come in handy. Definitely worth the purchase. Lastly, on our checklist, we have the backstage pump ups. So every coach is different, but um, a lot of times the coaches will have you, you know, eat a carb source, some type of quick carb source, fast acting carb pre show. So kind of when you're backstage getting glazed, getting pumped up. Um, so yeah, there's just plenty. I mean, every coach is different. So follow whatever your coach's protocols are. But one of the things that I tend to bring is, you know, sour candy, um, rice cakes with peanut butter, um, Pop tarts, rice crispy treats. Um, you wanna have iodized salt just to throw it back. Some people do pickles, whatever you are doing. Um, 
you want a source of sodium um, just to increase the blood flow and get that pump. Um, <laughs> so another thing that you're gonna wanna do is also bring resistant bands or weights. I recommend both if you can have it. Um, but you wanna have something to be able to pump yourself up backstage to come out looking fuller and bringing your best package to the stage. And that, my friends, is everything on the checklist that you're gonna need when competing and no matter what show you're going to, I highly recommend just keeping track of this checklist, going through everything and making sure you're on point with all of your items. Less stress and honestly, the key to anything is going to be in structure, in my opinion. So uh, definitely just go through and look back and refer to this checklist if you need to. Um, I'm gonna put it all at the end of this video just for you guys to look back on and screenshot if you ever need to. So I hope this was helpful and I will catch you guys in the next one.